So in this video we're going to have a quick look at uh, the new Topo solids which have replaced Topo surface uh, using Revit 2024 um, onwards. So to start off with we go into massing and site, we click on Topo solid and I'm just going to draw a very basic shape but for the boundary to start with and before I green tick, I'm just going to change a few things over here so we can look at different types that, that are in the template. So we've got our generic one meter with an earth finish. We've got this grass and then we've got some other ones down here. So just to show you how you can manipulate them and make them how you want them to look, I'm going to select the grassland um, and then I'm going to go into edit type. And in here, <coughs> I'm going to duplicate because I don't want to change the existing. I want to put a new one in there. I'm going to call this one meters or 2000 and I'm going to change the structure here so into here we can see we've got 50 mil grass 150 of sand and a thousand of earth I don't really want sand in mine so I'm going to take that out so hit delete and for the earth structure here I'm going to change that to 1950 that makes it up to two meters in total uh, and then click OK and then I'm going to green tick and then when I go into my 3d view we can see we've got our topos, quite uh, a garish green, which I don't really like. So I'm just going to come down here and change it into realistic. It's a bit easier on the eye. And once we've done that, um, for those that follow these videos and work in the same way as I do, you'll know that the topo surface uh, or the surface of this, I like to have is set at uh, minus 150 below level zero. So I just click on the topo surface there or a topo solid and the height offset I put in minus 150. You can see it just dropped down there slightly. Um, back into level zero, I'm going to draw some walls. So I'm going to go into architecture. Uh, just going to choose this finish face exterior and I'll send it up to level one for now. And I'm just again just going to create very basic so walls and whilst I'm here I'm going to go into 2d section on the top there and just create um, a 2d section running through there open that up and I'm going to change the detail to fine and then we can see uh, we've got these level lines that are in the way so we're just going to slide them out of the way just so they're not annoying us and here we can see we've got the walls not quite meeting the floor which is as expected because they're sitting down to level zero and we can see the top of the Topo solid is just below level zero as well. So uh, these walls, I'm going to send these down like we would normally. So I'm just going to hover over one wall, hit the tab key, left click to select them all, and then base offset. I'm just going to set this to a negative, I don't know, say 1200. And then we can see that that's now set those walls down. Uh, whilst I'm here, uh, I'll put the foundation on as well. So if I go into structure tab, come along to a wall foundation here and then just click on all the walls where we want to have a foundation if I go back into section one we can see now we've got this section looking through uh, it's not quite right we can see that we've got everything sort of mixed here so the top of the um, topo solid actually runs through the walls which isn't correct so I just want to adjust that slightly so uh, the way to do that just click on a on, on the topo solid itself and then up here somewhere we'll have cut here it is on the top left so cut geometry Click on that, then click on the uh, topo solid, then click on the wall. And you can see now that it's starting to dip around the outside of it. So we'll do it again for the topo solid and onto the foundation. It's now going around the outside of the foundation. And the same with this. Uh, so we'll do... Uh, so, um, <laughs> cut. So always do the topo solid first, then the wall, otherwise you get the wrong way around. So now we've got it running through all of that. Uh, the other thing we've got to do is put in a floor. Uh, so we're going to architecture, we're going to floor. Uh, I'm just going to use the pick lines to pick the inside of the walls. And I'm going to make sure it's the ground bearing slab. And if I go into my 3D now, I can see um, this floor. When I go into the section, we've still got this issue where we've got the topo solid running through the floor so again just click on the topo solid to bring up the modify ribbon click on cut click on topo solid first then the floor and now it looks as it should and that is how uh, you, you create most of your um 
floor and top of solid uh, drawings.